What's up guys and gals and welcome back to the nerd castle. It's time to play ourselves a little bit of the universe sim where we're trying to get to the medieval age. I would like to be in the medieval age. I'm working towards the medieval age. We just got done with pulley systems so apparently we've invented pulleys which is pretty cool. Uh, we can go with food preservation, we can go with fish gutting, or we can go with divine punishment which means you're <laughs> apparently means your nuggets can have twins. Uh, let's go with fish gutting for right now. We've got a couple of fisheries that I don't think are producing food at the rate that I want them to. And that'll need to get done before too long. That's a stone hut right there. But you guys don't have, like, a family crest on it. Oh, there it is. Never mind. We just had to go find it real fast. We just had to go track it down. Uh, we can upgrade our cemetery. I think I told them to upgrade the hospital. I think, yeah. The hospital is being upgraded. I've noticed we have a lot of diseased people walking around. And that's not good. I'm having to purify a lot of spots that'll- they're full of like weird little flaky black shit all over the place that I'm pretty sure is how we convert our entire city into Silent Hill. I don't know that for a fact, but I saw a movie about it once. You know, I never understood the vitriol for the Silent Hill movie. I enjoyed the Silent Hill movie, and I am a Silent Hill fan, don't get me wrong. I stopped playing them after Silent Hill The Room because I just- I couldn't come back after that. But, like, Silent Hill 1, 2, and 3 are some of my favorite horror games of all time. And I like the Silent Hill movie. I don't know. It had Andrea from The Walking Dead in it. So there's that. It had Andrea. I don't know if that's a selling point. Like, I would like to think that maybe it's a selling point, but I don't think it is. I don't think people like Andrea very much. I don't like Andrea very much. I think she might be one of the most... She just has no charisma. Like, I just don't like her. She's like one of those characters that dumped charisma to put things in all of her other stats. And, like, I, I think after the storyline with the governor, I was like, man, I really just do not like you. I don't like you at all. You're just the worst. Like, I don't even know what to say about you right now. But, uh, other things that we need. I think a second hospital would probably be a decent idea. Like, if we can get that into a position on this side of town so that people aren't having to walk super far in order to go to the doctor like it's always better when you don't have to hike like 590 miles and uh, I would walk 500 miles and uh, I would walk 500 more see now that song's gonna be stuck in my head all day I shouldn't even gone there the second that I went there I knew that it was gonna be stuck in my head all day and I did it anyways willingly because I guess that's just who I am it's just who I am are the lakes freezing over right now how come you guys don't catch a whale? Like, why are you guys messing around trying to catch normal fish when you could be trying to catch a whale? You ever give that any thought? Like, you, sh you could be catching whales right now, and I bet it would give us way more food than these paltry-ass things you keep going after. Just saying. Put a big old JS on that one. There's a lot of dead people over here. Let's maybe upgrade this place, too. I don't know if it's going to mess it up, though. When we upgrade it. Sometimes when I upgrade things, the building becomes non-functional. And when the building becomes non-functional, like, dead bodies start to pile up in various corners. Or, like, with the hospital, for example, sick people are all over the place. Yes, I know you have diseases there. I'm... I'm fixing you. I am fixing all of your diseases. Feel better. Go get some water. Hydrate yourself. You deserve it. Because, girl, you're worth it. You're always worth it. We got uh, Wealth of Knowledge. Is that the upgrade for the school? What was Wealth of Knowledge? What did that do? Is there any way for me to... Damn it, what was Wealth of Knowledge? It did something. Wealth of Knowledge, were you helpful in what you did? Oh, I can get a second cook. I don't think I need a second cook. Like, I have my doubts that a second cook would actually help out altogether that much. Um, another warehouse over here might be a good idea. Like, we might want to create, like, self-contained microcosms, like another farm over here with another warehouse. A stone hut has gone back to its roots, and by that we mean only the foundation is standing. This lady is also stuck again. I don't know what it is about this school that gets that lady stuck on, like, a normal basis. But, lady, be more careful. Like, I'm not trying to murder you or anything like that. Just stop getting stuck in school. You know, I know second grade is hard... But stick with it. I believe in you. You can do this. Nobody's using this well over here. I think what I'd like to do is we'll do another farm over on this side. So, like, something like this looks good to me. So we put in, like... Oh, that would be a forest farm. Okay. Only you can prevent forest farms. 
I'll put in a forest farm right there. And we will also stack up another warehouse on this side. Just for extra goodies. Just for things to make our make our job slightly easier. So that while repairs are happening, they can just make it happen over here. Now, they won't have planks and boards and stuff like that around. But it'll have to do. I, I don't think it's going to have any long-term ramifications. I've said that about things in the past, though. And then there were long-term ramifications. So, you know, I, I've, I've learned that maybe I'm not the best arbiter of things that will or won't happen. Maybe I should stay away from that proclamation just in the hope that maybe I won't look stupid for once. You guys are chopping down a lot of trees over here. You guys are murdering the hell out of some trees. Part of me wants to congratulate you, but then the other part of me wants to be like, Yo, why are you killing so many trees for? Oh yeah, we got the upgrade to the... It's an upgrade to our archive, which I don't actually know why we need that. Uh, this over here, well water capacity, I think that's a good idea, but let's go for nugget water needs reduced first, because they are drinking the well dry at the moment in almost every location. They are drinking the hell out of some of these wells. It's hell in a well instead of hell in a cell, which is obviously where mankind... Yeah, I'm not going to do that whole thing. I'm not going to do that whole thing here today. My meme game is somewhat strong. Not as strong as it was back in the day when I was playing MMOs all day every day. But I try to keep the meme game tight. We got another hospital over here. Well, bam. Let's have another doctor, shall we? Yep, doctor, doctor, tell me the news. I got a bad case of loving you. Uh, we lost an engineer as well. An engineer died gloriously doing what he loved, smacking a hammer against a pipe somewhere while telling scientists all the reasons that realistically they can't do the things that they want to do because it doesn't fit inside of... I don't know, strain constraints or something like that. I don't know. Fill in the blanks for yourself. Sounds good to me. Over here, uh, the farm has a number of things that need to be added onto it. It's going to take a lot of planks and a lot of boards and whatnot for that to get finished off. And the issue we're running into for right now is that they have to go all the way over to this warehouse on this side in order to get the stuff that they need in order to do the upgrades. Also, I get the feeling that these guys only produce bricks and stone when you actually need them. Like, I don't think they fill this place up until you have a backlog. I think they just kind of work as you queue stuff up and make stuff happen. And Ashahi is taking her final breath due to old age. So sudden, yet so predictable. Yeah. Everybody's got to go at once. Um, Shahi has left a void inside of here. We got other nuggets on that side, though, so I'm not really that concerned about it. Oh, they can actually supply water here. That's pretty cool. Okay. Uh, their thirst decay goes down by half when they get water from an eatery rather than from other places. What happens when I upgrade this place? Because as of right now, does it give me more save slots or something? Is that what they're doing? I don't know. Maybe it gives us a better auto save interval or something like that. Oh, the sailfish is done. Good. Uh, we have Nugget Express, which gives us the Courier's Hut. Sounds good to me. I don't know what I want a Courier's Hut for, but... Alright, Hut Hut Hike, we'll go ahead and do it. So we can get some new stuff. Uh, this needs to get done very shortly, because having a third farm, I think, is really going to make sure that food doesn't go absolutely batshit nutty over on this side. Uh, people are dying of old age. I'm pretty sure that's just due to the fact that we have a lot of old people. I don't... We've got a lot of people that are aging. This is basically the entire first generation of our nuggets going. And I assume this is going to happen kind of on a time interval from now on. Like, every, like, two years or so, we'll have, like, a bunch of deaths... And we'll just have to deal with that fact. They're not building in this direction either. And it kind of makes me wonder why. Ooh, I wonder, wonder. Ooh, I wonder. Ooh, what's in a wonder ball? You guys remember that commercial? They tried to do like kinder eggs over here. But they called them wonder balls. And then some dumbass little kid choked on one like five days after they came out. And then we weren't allowed to have them anymore. Uh, that's why we're not allowed to have kinder eggs in the United States. Because kids are dumb and they choke on the awesome toys on the inside if they were smart they would know you're not supposed to choke on the toy you're supposed to play with it but i guess the education system is just all around failing i don't know this is not to be choked on like how excited are you about chocolate where the chocolate tells you on the label that yo there's a toy inside of here and you still just shove the whole thing inside of your mouth and swallow i kind of feel like at a certain point we're probably saving ourselves from a Generation of insurance salesmen or something like that. See, that's why we need Kinder Eggs. That's it right there. To save us from future insurance salesmen. Um, let's see. We have somebody drowning at the bottom of the lake right here. Who's apparently able to ethereally pass through a, 
a thick thing of ice without any problem. All right, no questions, no questions, whatever. That's fine. Uh, healing spots are good to go. We have seven medicines ready to go on that side. This place does need to be upgraded, but it looks like it's taking its sweet-ass time because these places need to produce planks a little bit faster. And so I guess we'll just wait it out. We'll wait it out till we get what we want. I think we're going to need more dead people carriers, too. Looking around, I've been helping them pile bodies over here. It was really violent. I dropped a body from high altitude because I wasn't thinking, and I may have fractured somebody's grandpa's skull. He's dead now. He was dead before, too, so don't worry about that. But he's extra dead now. He has no chance of becoming a zombie. I was worried about it. It was a legitimate concern. I'm going to go with Juicy Acorn. I'm pretty sure there's a thing over here that we can grow in a forest that mostly gives us... Oh, I guess not. In the desert biome, we can grow herbs so that we don't have to have our healing guys running around trying to do that anymore. I guess I'll go with Healthy Molinas over here. Uh, in this hospital, she can't really go and do anything. My goal with that was actually to grow herbs, but I guess that I can't. We have a doctor over there. If nothing else, it'll just be an excuse for us to pile people up. On this side, they're burning bodies on the pyre. My voice is going to crack because I'm perpetually talking. And my voice is always burned out. 100%. Pretty sure I'm going to sound like, I don't know, Nick Nolte or something by the time I'm like 50. Just from talking all day every day for a living. This place needs to be upgraded like right now. And if it's not going to be upgraded, somebody needs to fix it. Where are my engineers at? And why are they not fixing things? Is there a spell I can cast to fix things? I would love... I guess not. Okay, well, I was gonna, I was gonna try anyways to use my god magics to fix that place, but they don't want to allow that to happen because they're a bunch of haters, and so, I guess haterism wins for now. Haterism wins. I didn't want it to win. It just kind of did. All right, kind of threw me for a loop. I was like, hey, haterism, why are you throwing me for a loop right now? And haterism was like, oh, you know, it's just what I do. It's just the thing that I'm kind of into. Hmm. What does this actually do? I think it produces stone, because there's a hundred stone right there. And it's like doing its thing. I guess we need more storage in order for that to work. But our upgrades are taking a while. Oh well. On the plus side, there are other things we can work on for right now. I mean, ideally, I'd like to have another eatery over here somewhere. Do I need the forecast tower? I don't know if I need that. It doesn't seem like that useful of a building. Uh, we needed an eatery, though. I think would be a good plan. Where's the eatery hidden at? Eatery? Where are you? It's a courier's hut. We've got the bunker, a local business. Where the hell is the eatery? It's got to be here somewhere. Eatery! I need to feed my peepos. Would you like to help me out with that? that there it is, a restaurant. That's what we needed. I could probably fit a restaurant in right here. I think that sounds like a reasonable plan. Like if we drop in a restaurant like right here, that kind of fits. And then it also puts some wood inside that stockpile for later. And then, did the warehouse get finished? Oh, it did. Good. Fantastic. We also have people that need to be healed over there. So I will give them a little bit of healing light. Take the edge off of all the herbs that we're currently losing. We're down to 14 food, so I am glad that I made another farm over there. I think that's going to work for us. Uh, we are out of research, as far as I can tell. So how do we advance to the medieval age? Like, is that possible? How do we do that? I don't know. Maybe we got to upgrade something. Uh, maybe we upgrade our archive, possibly. Maybe that's what does it. That might be what takes us into the future, because that is kind of one of our central buildings. I don't know. We'll just keep upgrading things and keep playing the game for right now. Did I lose all of the resources that were inside of there? Holy shit, that's not good. Where'd all the resources go? Put the resources back, you noobs. What are you doing right now? Killing me. I'm trying to be over here and be a benevolent god. Y'all are messing with the equation. There we go. Get rid of all the rotten stuff over there. Uh, for our final researches, we can go with well water capacity, nugget might. I'm going to go for nugget might because it just might be a good idea. And yeah, I think that's pretty much it for us right there. I'm going to tell this to upgrade. Oh, good. We've got another dead person over here, too. My favorite. Dead people, dead people everywhere and not a single one working. Yeah, let's go ahead and we'll upgrade the graveyard as well while we wait. I need another person to, like, take graves around and 
carry things from point A to point B, I think. Over on this side, we've started to stack up a little bit of this and a little bit of that. Over here, they're starting to put together that restaurant. And I am more or less happy with what we've got going on for right now. But this might be one of those weird situations where I just got to sit here and observe for a bit and see what happens. Ooh, they're building the upgraded archive. Yay, I'm curious to see what that actually does. Like, I legitimately want to know... Why do we have to upgrade the save place? Like, it was a research that we had to do. So I assume it accomplishes something. But, as of right now, I don't really know. We'll see it when they get done with the progress over there. Uh, they have continued to expand in this direction at a really rapid rate. It seems like we've hit some kind of equilibrium. You should not be dating right now. You should be working. Why are you dating right now? Come back and be a doctor. Do your job. God. People are dying of diseases right now. Feet are rotting off. Eyeballs are being ex exhumed from heads with spoons. It's a rough neighborhood we live in. Come gather some herbs. Make people feel better. God. Over there trying to find the D when instead you should be over here trying to get that apothecary life on. Killing me. Killing me softly. It's done! Yay. So the archive is able to stand up on its own now. What did that accomplish for me? What does that say? Write your own... Bloatery? I don't know. It doesn't look like it gave me more save slots or anything like that, so I'm just going to assume that maybe there's something else I'm supposed to be doing. The final thing we haven't built is the courier's place. Which is right here, the flow of resources for smooth operation, construction sites or whatnot. Uh, couriers are the answer. Okay. Well, if couriers are the answer, couriers, however you want to say that word, I don't really care. I'm sure there'll be somebody who's a stickler in the comments. But that's okay, this isn't for you, stickler. This isn't for you. This should probably be, like, centralized, right? I mean, I don't know how we're going to make that work. Best I can probably do is just put it over here. Well, there we go. We'll put the courier in. And we'll see if that unlocks anything new. But I'm pretty sure we've basically hit the end of whatever it is we're trying to do in this little journey. Uh, let's see. Well, seeing as we've hit a bit of a stopgap right now, there's not really a whole lot else for me to be doing. Uh, our society appears to have hit an equilibrium where they're dying as fast as they're being born. I don't know how that gets fixed, but as of right now, I've just got to wait and see if research goes through, and if it does, and it takes us to a medieval age, I thought it was going to convert all of our buildings and everything like that, but I've got to sit around for, oh, about 30 minutes, I guess, to get all these researches done, and we'll see if the medieval age is at the end of that. If there is, I'll hit you with another episode after this one, alright? This is the Universe Sim. If you guys like what you saw so far, you can get the game down below. My name is Splattercat. I am a Twitch streamer and YouTuber here on the internet. If you wanted to join me for the Twitch streams, you can do that at twitch.tv slash splattercatgaming. If you wanted to support me, you can do that through Patreon or just by clicking the like button uh, here on the channel. Helps increase my exposure and it helps more than you know, so please think about it. I will see you all later. Hi to everybody and bye-bye.